continuing coverage tonight on the ongoing housing situation at FAMU's Palmetto Phase 3 apartments. Students voicing concerns to school faculty after pest issues forced them out of their dorms last Friday. ABC 27's Candace Blake has reaction from students and the solutions that faculty have in place to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. When you are on social media, you can make a lot of noise with that, especially because it's like everybody will be seeing it. You know, it could even possibly reach Beyonce, you know, so <laughs> like you can make a lot of noise being on social media. So I definitely think that it is an effective way. 428 FAMU students were supposed to move back to on-campus housing unit, phase three dorm, but instead were postponed from move in until Friday. FAMU freshman Naraya Brewer believes taking the housing issue to social media can be beneficial to help move things along. Although she has not experienced housing issues, she feels for her fellow Rattlers and wish they were having the same experience she is. And I heard about the housing, like the um, hotels that they're like putting the students in. Some of the students don't really like the hotels and stuff, so I really think that family should be doing everything that they can possible for the students. One suggestion that Brewer thought could help was reimbursing students for their housing and convenience. Housing Director Dr. Jennifer Wilder tells me that the move-in date was pushed back in order to ensure the units were in perfect condition for students. We are sorry for the inconvenience. I know this has not been, um, this has been a very frustrating and challenging situation for everyone. We are doing the best we can and we look forward to them being able to return to phase three.